I'm not using the bathroom. I'm just in it. Today is April 4th. I'm trying to be a little bit peppier today. Yesterday, my cousins were doing some, some Arab bingo on Instagram. And I thought instead of uh, doing it on Instagram, I'm going to do it right here. I have a feeling that COVID would not apply or I just don't understand it. Here we go. My son's dot marker is coming in handy today. Being asked to say something in Arabic. Yeah, <laughs> all the time. I put that in a video where whenever somebody asks me to say something in Arabic, I just count to 10 because I can't always think of a sentence. We've got a mark. <laughs> Your parents taking a joke wrong. Yes, who doesn't? I think everyone should mark that unless you don't make jokes. Knowing how to have a good time. When I actually go out, I don't know if that counts. I'm going to count that as a no. You jam to Nanti Ajram. I have. There was a song around the time of my bridal shower. Something like that. It was, it was a Nancy Ajram song. She's a famous Arabic singer. Um, so yes, I jammed. Having your name said wrong. Yes, but not because it's Arabic. My, my name is Miranda. That's not an Arabic name. That, well, that's a Spanish name. I guess you want to say my last name. My maiden name was um, Habib. It means sweetheart or darling. So no fun, but it's a nice term. Thanks. Being late to everything. No. Me personally, I'm, I'm not typically late to everything. Um, that's definitely a thing where people say, oh, you're on Arab time, which means like an hour or two later. It's about a lot of different nationalities. There's lots of people who are just notoriously late. You know who you are. You know who you are. It's hard to please parents. That's not true either. No, not hard to please. Being taught flip the plaza, a shen haram. I don't know what that word is. I'm assuming something I don't know. Um, I know Ashan Haram. I don't know this flip thing, so that's clearly no. So this row is not doing so good for me. Using the word donkey as an insult. Oh my god. It's like jackass. Oh my god. I'm drawing a I draw blanks on a normal basis. Is it haras? I want to say it's haras because it sounds like ass. Maybe that's like the slang version. I don't know. Ass. Anyway, um, Hating Bamia. I don't like Bamia. Bamia was the one I want to say with... It's a tomato when you put over rice. I never liked Bamia. Hating Bamia. Weddings on weddings on weddings. Not lately, but yes, when I was younger. These days, I am like... I'm off on my own little island. <laughs> Owning a uh, Ain? Oh, I'm assuming that's like the evil eye thing, Ain? I remember a few years ago, like quite a few years ago, it might have been over 10, everybody was wearing the bracelets with the eyes on them, and they were like, it's supposed to ward off evil eyes. It's something we grew up with, too. Um, I believe it came from Greece at that point, but it's something that a lot of Mediterranean people believe in. I'm sure other cultures, too. It's usually a blue eye. Culture spread. Okay, free space. Oh my god, I get a free space. Parents answer everything, inshallah. Oh, I hope you come over again, inshallah. Phone and phone call ends with yalla bye. Almost lies. Okay, yeah, bye. I'm gonna say no to that one. Being asked when you'll get married. I did. I did get asked. Um, not a ton. Uh, but then again, when I had a boyfriend, that was the end of that. Fearing your parents' hand gestures. No, I do not fear their hand gestures. My hand gestures are just as bad. Argile obsession. Argile is a hookah. Yeah, I like hookahs. Argile. That is just for tobacco. I'm not obsessed with it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a dot there. Studying medicine, engi engineering, or law. Not my family. There was, there was never a push. I mean, I'm sure they wouldn't have minded it, but there wasn't a push for that. Shoes off before entering a home. They didn't push that a lot either, and I kind of wish they had. That when we go to somebody's house because they liked the rug or something, they'd be like, well, please take your shoes off. But it wasn't a big thing in my family that I can remember took your shoes off, you took them off, but it was never requested. Owning a shatafa, which is a bidet. I do, I have one <laughs> right here. I'm not using the bathroom, I'm just in it. There you go, you wanna know how to say bidet? Middle Eastern way? Shatafa. Shatafa. You have
has bought over a restaurant bill. No, stop paying. Well, my mom, oh my God, my mom wrestled it out of my hands the last time. I was like, really? Really? Endless supply of pita bread. I wish. You know, when I was younger, I didn't like pita bread because I didn't like that, um, that texture on the outside, what it, like whatever flour is used on the outside. I was weird about textures. And I just didn't like the way it felt. I got older and got over it, and now I wish I had more pita bread. But we did have an endless supply growing up. Growing up, Parents' rhyming skills on point. My mom actually would write poems and stuff like that, so I guess that counts. She wasn't, this doesn't say anything about, like, freestyle, uh, improv, but, yeah. My, my dad would sing sometimes when he was drunk and things like that. I'm going to say yes to that because I never tested them out, but... Knowing how to zagruta. You know what zagruta is? And I don't know, if I'm saying it wrong, cousins, sorry. You don't really hear the word very much, but it's everyone knows I know how to do that if they watch the Shakira video. So I got bingo guys right there. That's it. I just figured it was a fun distraction. Something other than just talking about. Anyway, I'm going to go now and... I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy and washing your hands, not touching your face. If I've touched my face in this video, it is so hard not to do that. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.